everybody and welcome back to Erica's Tea Room. I'm Erica Shanoff. And I'm Lila Shanoff. How it's, are you? It's good she knows who she is. Sometimes. And this is not your grandmother's tea party. And today we are preparing for a bridal shower. A lovely young lady is getting married and tomorrow we are hosting her bridal shower. Dun, so, dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, that's not the right thing. Go into the chapel everywhere. <laughs> Go are not get me married. I did that once. I'm not doing it ever again. And this is why I'm not married, people. So we're making individual mini cheesecakes. So she has asked for miniature um, mini cheesecakes as one of her two dessert options. And That's of course it. I have to make it a step above. Above. So elevate. Elevate it. So I'm going to have Erica melt my butter because I'm going to make my own crust. I have here some graham cracker crumbs and some crushed pecans. Look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna elevate this by making it with graham cracker crumbs and crushed pecans. The recipe calls for sugar in this, but I think this is all sweet enough without the sugar. Because the graham crackers, while they're primarily cinnamon based, they already have the sugar in it, so you don't need to add additional sugar if you don't want to. No, not at all. But you know what? You said cinnamon base. Can you give me a little cinnamon? Cinnamon? Cinnamon. So I have to show you something ghetto, people. <laughs> what happens when your cinnamon or your spices fall out of the refrigerator and go boom? Duct tape. <laughs> you duct tape the bottom. Duct tape is multifunctional. <laughs> she teases me all the time, but you know, little ghetto people. No, it's not. It's just I didn't want to throw out the cinnamon just because the it went bum. It went bum, and the bottom cracked a little. So I just put the tape on, and it works fine. Duct tape. <laughs> I put a little cinnamon probably about a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we've had a glass microwavable. I melted my butter. I make it into the butter. It's just like butter. And this is gonna be my crust. I'm gonna evenly put this. I just wanna make sure it's all the butter is in every bit of the crust. But I'm gonna put this in every one of my 12. So what I did is take one of the uh, muffin tins and I put a little white cup baking cup in. I'm going to have Erica go and she's excited because I don't usually let her do anything and evenly <laughs> evenly put that into every one of the 12 cups. Okay let's see if she could do it without making a mess. Put a lot in because you want to fill up the cup. Now you after she's done She's not even, that's for sure. That has nothing in it. That's I'll like, even it out. Even it out. Even it out. So we're going to actually press that to the bottom of the cup, plus go up the sides a little. So when it makes a little cuppy. Makes a little cuppy. And these are no bake cheesecakes. So we can literally eat these as soon as we're finished with them. There's nothing wrong with that because didn't I get to sample? No, you don't. But it's even better when you then put it in the refrigerator and let it sit for a while. So I've got enough crust put aside here to make some more. Now I'm going to use the back of my fingers to just tamp it down and get it. I'm going to add a little bit more to a couple of these cuppies that I want a little light in. And this here. is giving me a hard time. It doesn't want to open. Open sesame. Let me tell you. But it gives a nice little crust right down at and the And it's bottom. very flavorful, the crust. Can you use a ready-made crust? Absolutely. But this is so simple. It's much less expensive. And it's it's really nice with this. Look at this, Erica. It's giving me, I can't even open this to get two more cuppies. Two more cuppies here. One and two. And it doesn't matter because these are going to go in the fridge later. So give you two more cuppies. I'm not doing this again, that's for sure. So this is whipped cream cheese. I have two containers of whipped cream cheese. To this, the biggest thing of this whole thing is the sweet and condensed milk. And I love using this because this is a great way of not having to bake cheesecake and still having all the fun of the cheesecake. And that's why I didn't like to add sugar to my, uh, to my uh, crust because this is a lot of sweet. 
To this, I'm adding a little vanilla, very little vanilla, and a little lemon. So fresh lemon juice, pure vanilla, that goes into this, and that's the whole thing that's gonna make my cheese a cakes. So just gonna take a minute on it and ooh, smell that. In. It smells so lemony. You just want it to be nice and smooth, no um, lumps, lumps or bumps. bumps. So it's nice and fluffy, and this is going to get really, really hard or dense as it sits and oh, cools. And so it's good to do this ahead of time and have it overnight. Overnight, overnight. Yeah, so this is gonna set overnight. So I'm just gonna get this in each of my little cuppies. So you put a nice little scoop in every cup. Look how nice that is. And now, then, don't, because I want it to go for 12, I'm gonna do a nice amount of, but then I could go back and fill them up after. Because all we're gonna do is tap these down to smooth them out. Yep, yep. So if you smell. like cheesecake, but sometimes it's too heavy because of all the butter that goes into a lot of cheesecakes, this is gonna be a really light one, very refreshing with the lemon. If you wanted a key lime cheesecake, you could definitely Sub substitute subs the lemon juice for or a key lime orange. juice. Or orange. And then you could put a little bit of lemon peel or orange peel right into your shell. Yeah. So this is gonna go into the refrigerator overnight. Okay, I'm gonna do the other two. And look how nice those are, aren't those pretty? Perfect, perfect. And if you ever have one that's a little bit smaller, look to see who needs a little diet in and give that to them. Yeah. And save the biggest one for yourself. No. <laughs> and then you jiggle it. And, and you, you wiggle, wiggle it. it. And you jiggle it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it while you're putting it in. Why? Well, because you're gonna jiggle it while you're Yes, because it'll go whoop. Okay, so. A wiggle and a wiggle. Could you a... I'm gonna see this on the floor <laughs> in one minute, and I need this for a bridal shower. So these are gonna go into the fridge overnight, and it's gonna be really, really pretty, but Erica is going to do the taste testing. <laughs> and you know, I always yell at her because when I put eggs in, she wants to taste things, and she can't because you can't eat the raw egg. But in this instance, there's nothing raw. There's no eggs in this. And it's so good. You taste the lemon. It's it's really, really delicious. Yes. This would be a good ice cream. <laughs> so put that in the sink. And let's talk about our tea for let's today. Let's talk about tea for two. Today, I've made us some French lemon ginger tea. And this is a great tea when you have an upset stomach because the lemon and the ginger are so just soothing to that kind of acid. This is also a great um, tea if you have a sore throat. Plus, it's got almost like a honey undertone, and it brews to a gorgeous golden color. This again is a herbal tea. It's uh, again from South Africa, the rooibos bush. So you see the green. The green pieces are the green part of the rooibos plant. Yes, and then you have these other little raw things, and yes. that's the lemon. It's and lemongrass. It, and it's the lemongrass, and you smell all of this. It's really, really very, very good, and it's very healthy for you. And the lemon that's in here is gonna be a perfect complement to the lemon cheesecake. So it's a perfect lemon summer flavors. This would be great iced if you prefer a cold cuppa in the summer months when it's so darn hot outside. Well, we hope you enjoyed this recipe and we'll try it out at home and let us know how it goes. Tell us how you switched it up. Tell us if you tried it as a key lime or as an orange. We'd love to hear from you. And we hope you'll tune in next week and enjoy another wonderful recipe with us here at Erica's Tea Room. And not your grandmother's tea room. And as always, we <laughs> wish you good scones with good tea and good friends. And, and always remember, Memories are made with every cup. See you soon.